Good luck. All right. So this seems to be my most favorite opening as of late. And hopefully Lily can help us develop a better appreciation for some of the nuances in this opening. Because, um, yeah, it is pretty fun to play. But if anybody can keep us honest, it would be Lily. Hmm. Okay. I know the static rook side prefers a bishop exchange where feasible. Okay, that's interesting too. Is this... huh. I wonder how this plays out. So is there something, like, critically wrong with my developing this bishop in a similar manner? Or is it just that this is complicated? Alright, so they do prefer to close this. What? Um... Okay, so... Interesting. Yeah, I think this is fine for me. I'm pushing the envelope a bit, but I think it's quite reasonable. So I want to use my rook, and I want to use my bishop. And this seems to connect both of those concerns. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right. This is my first feeling. I'm going to go with it. But it seems exciting somehow. Is there a trick here that I've missed? Oh, okay. Bishop. There's potentially a fork right next to my king if I'm careless. If I'm careful, I think it's not something to be afraid of. Um,
Oh, wait. No, I think I have this under control. I think I do. Hopefully I'm not too mistaken. Is this a bit awkward? Sure. But then we can defend against this bishop drop fork, which seems to cover everything else too. While also putting the bishop on a reasonable square. I mean, yes, a bishop in hand generally is worth more. Um, and I'm being a bit greedy here. But I think a little greed can be a useful thing. It's just if you get very greedy, that's when bad stuff happens. Um, what a complicated position. Hmm. Interesting. So, so much to consider. I think this barely covers everything. And if not, we're in trouble, but I think we're fine. I don't see a problem. I mean, I haven't made it easy for myself to find if there is a problem or not, but things seem to be okay. The problem with most of these moves is that they would allow a bishop drop, which could be quite strong in response. But this seems to deal with bishop drop threats without enabling too many more. Um,
I hope I have everything covered. I'm not sure. We're going to try to tuck the king in just a little bit here. My bishop prevents the silver from moving there. My rook prevents the silver from moving here. So there's the only piece that could defend this would either be the rook or this bishop. And I don't anticipate the bishop defending it because I can kick the bishop. So, or it can go here, but that's not easy for either of us. Um, so more likely, if they are going to, she is going to defend this, uh, it would have to be the rook. But if the rook defends this, then I can take back the center file. Right, so this is a sacrifice. Um, or, I mean, potentially it's a sacrifice, potentially it's just a trade. Hmm, if I take this, then there's a clear path to my king. And there's a, potentially a pawn drop right next to the king. It's upsetting, but I don't know that it's worth worrying about. I'm playing with fire here. Fire's always been my element to, of choice, but um, yeah, I'm curious what's going on. Right, so this is indirectly defended by Bishop Fork, and that's fine. Um, that bishop covers a lot of territory. So Frick's exchange, it seems like my king is a little bit safer than hers. Not really. Well, my rook is pretty inactive at this point. No, no, my rook's actually doing just fine. I want to panic, but I shouldn't. Uh, oh, okay, so there's, there's a lot of fun tactics here, but I think this is justified. And then we have to drop all the way back, I think. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. There's still some weaknesses in my position. That's not great. Yeah, this is me admitting that I'll give a pawn back just to make the pain stop. Because um, there's just too much to figure out here. Uh, that's kind of odd. So yeah, my castle was just a bit improvised here, but seems to do the job. My point is that at some point I could capture the center pawn with the rook, and my rook becomes active again. This is kind of forces the pace of play that... I mean, I guess she might trade her rook for this bishop or something to activate her rook, I guess. Yes, there's a defensive move. There's my defensive move. And now we've got the pawns for our pain. Hang on. Hold the phone. Got stuff to figure out here. Um, oh, that's fine. This is a logical extension. If the silver comes up, um, my bishop could go various places. So it's fine. It's going to take a while for me to regroup and do something useful. Um. Oh, this gets sharp.
So the knight's my target, right? I'm making my king a bit of a target here with this sack. But, um... This clearly seems like what I should be doing here. Um... Yeah, I should take the knight. Taking the knight looks like a clear path forward. Hmm. I hope I don't walk into some tactics somewhere. Oh. Okay, this is actually a lot sharper than I thought. Uh, it's still fine, but geez. This is not what I thought I was signing up for. Um, right. Uh, still. Ah, <sighs> tough choice. Uh, if I run, this gets worse. This gets a lot worse if I run. All right, so yeah, first saw that. Um, I want to protect my king's head again. Want is probably the wrong word. But if a pawn drop silver retreats, oh, if I hit the silver, it advances. If I just exchange bishops here, I survive. Surviving is not bad. No matter how impatient I am, survival is not a bad strategy. Mm -hmm. This is why I thought I might need to survive. There's just a pretty decently strong attack on my front door. Um, oh. That's actually not easy to defend against, is it? Interesting. Hmm, this position is much sharper than I thought it was. That's cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nicely spotted. Um. So if I recapture, and I will, then bishop drop, ain't check. It's still really hard to deal with. Oh, actually, they take here. Oh my goodness. Um. Getting my rook exchanged for a bishop is the least of my concerns right now. Greater concerns are what if I get checkmated? So we're going to play something that hopefully won't get me made it i might end up yeah i'm allowing this bishop rook exchange or at least offering it so i can get a silver i think that's fair i think she'll take the lance anyway but i get a silver um Oh, but then she's got like three pieces attacking the same square. It's really this knight that I need removed. What the heck? It's amazing. Yeah, so taking the lance continues this attack. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow. <laughs> Our king is going to run this way behind the castle, I guess. Oh. Well, no, a lance drop doesn't finish me. A pawn drop is actually... Yeah, wow. It's on a knife edge, that's for sure. But I think this is fine. No, a pawn drop, I just take the horse. So something violent is called for, but what? I don't know. So that's a check. Um, taking it's obviously out of the question. I don't even understand what question this pawn drop is asking. It's over my head. It's okay. I don't need to understand everything to play this game in a reasonable fashion. Um, Sanjudio 
40秒I must... oh, well this attack doesn't abate itself, does it? Okay, well that makes sense. Yeah. So I've had to place the silver in defense where it's not as useful. Um... Now, uh, a knight could be a useful piece for me. I might very much want a knight here. And it's not hard to obtain. At least this turn. Um... I can't take the easy answer this turn. Oh, you're going to continue offering that knight to me? Wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Um... ちゅうびょう。40秒。50秒。1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8。It's complicated. That is complicated. I don't know if I did this right or not. There's a good chance it's not right. ちゅうびょう。40秒。my head is swimming in so many ideas here.
30秒40秒30秒40秒30秒うん30秒30秒。Okay, I see how this is finally resolving so they don't lose a rook if I take this. Yeah, this is such a strong attack that she has here. It's fantastic. Right. That's logical.
30秒40秒I forgot about that. There's a lot to remember. Um, It's golden, and I ain't giving it up for nothing. There are things I'll give it up for, but nothing is not one of the things I'll give it up for. Right, so this allows me to attack, though. So, how... How bold. How incredibly bold. This seems too bold. By a lot. Um... Just how blind am I? Well, I guess horse takes rook could fuel a combination somewhere or somewhere. It's too much. If there's a mate here and I'm mated, I just... I don't think I can find this in this kind of time control. Um... It's too much. I mean, yes, I lost my bishop. I liked it quite a bit. It was a good bishop. I'm what? Excuse me? I guess it didn't matter. Thank you.
Thanks for the game. Whew, that was exciting. Wow. All right. Uh, yeah, there were lots of combinations this game. Um, hmm. <sighs> yeah. Um, yeah, maybe you do need this piece. Um, I guess we could offer, uh, it's okay. Yeah. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, so I got carried away as usual. Ah. Uh, Got a pretty exciting position. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm it's kind of amazing just how safe this appears to be. Yeah, I did spend a little time thinking about this, too. Um, yeah, it's very nice to have an attack. As we saw in the game, it's much more fun to attack than defend. I just could not, for the life of me, figure out what's going on here. But maybe that is... maybe that is best. Yeah, we put the rook on the back rank. Yeah, that rook move actually powered a stronger attack than I expected. Right. Um, I think I would have uh, stepped aside here. Oh, shoot. Oh. Um, yeah, this is actually much harder than I thought. So wait a second. Um, maybe I need to like play this here instead to try to hold this together. Um, so yeah, now this is uncomfortable for sure. Uh, I wonder though, well, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That's the trade-off in this position. Um, uh, I'm not so sure about this one. That bishop move might be a bit much, but the rest of this makes sense. That like you have a slightly easier attacking chance against my vulnerable king. Um, uh, yeah, I think we do this anyway. What about taking, well, uh, yeah, that'll happen soon. Yeah. Yeah, so, 
I think that's the idea is that I get the bishop. So I've got both bishops here, and this is a pretty fun attack going. Oh, instead of taking the gold with the rook. Oh! Um. Yeah, I mean, at this point. What about taking the silver with the bishop and. S oh, this. Ah, that makes sense. Yes, of course. Right. Yeah, so this is a nice attack. Still looks like there's some details to work out, but, um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, Lily's completely right that just there's a lot of ways that Senta could continue an attack here um, with that. Yeah, so this doesn't quite work out either. Um, yeah, I got greedy. Yeah. No, definitely, that's a mistake. It's horribly mistimed. Right, something like this looks a lot safer and smarter. Yeah, the, that makes a lot more sense. So that's what I... That's how I got in such hot water. After that really sharp opening, I elected to make this position so much sharper than it needed to be. And yeah, this became difficult to defend. Um, oh. Yeah, that looks scary for me. Um, I wonder. Well, so it looks like this is slowing down a lot. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering about this. Uh, not quite there. Almost, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it looks like that isn't quite worth it. Um, is this retreat sensible enough? Oh, wait, could I have? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It's a good defensive move. Um, get the king out of this massive attack. Right. And no matter... Oh, okay, yeah, that's a resourceful move. Despite circumstances here, but still... Um, well, they got a, she has a knight and a bishop and a pawn. Yes. Right. It looks... I mean, I should be able to defend this some... No, I'm not sure. Now I have doubts. Um... Hmm. 
Yeah, now I've got doubts. <laughs> uh, just about my ability to defend this. Oh, God, what? That's cool. Um, so we got to run. I don't understand. Where's the tactic? It's here somewhere, I just don't yet see it. Um. Oh! Oh. Uh, right, so, okay. Just how bad is this for me? I wonder. Um. Oh. <laughs> wow. That is cool. There's a lot of fun tactics going on here. Yeah, yeah, that would have been a really nice find in our game. I'm not going to criticize a person who says they're not feeling at their best. Uh, oh, yeah, this is all sideline. Right. Sorry. Um, yeah, I thought this bishop drop was really creative, but... Oh. Oh dear. Wow. Well, no, they don't have a silver here, though, so I live to tell the tale one more day. Um. What? Never seen this, but it looks cool. But what is it? If the idea is to drop a bishop back here... The skull sideways seems to stop that from happening. Uh, I guess we take this. I guess, um, I just don't know at this point. Seems like the most sensible try here. Yeah. Right, so defend this. Um, there's no check. So I can just attack this bishop at my leisure here somehow. Um, oh, but then they move the knight and my rook is attacked. Um, wait, no, not there. Uh, how about like, here? Yeah, so I'm just playing a very cowardly defense, trying to remove all my targets so that I don't drop something. But it seems to hang in there, just barely. Uh, oh, well, okay, you have a point that you have an attack of some sort here. Um, yeah, it's not super obvious how to completely stop the attack. Um, Can't stop the attack. The next best thing we could do is run away. Um, I 
I mean, it looks like I got this pretty solidly under control here. Um, looks can be deceiving. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so something a bit calmer like that. Um, can I just remove this? Like, how bad is that for me, I wonder? So we got the knight that we always wanted. Um, oh, that's a nice fork. Um... Yeah, I guess that's, ugh. Yeah, no, I messed up, so, um, I guess I have to try to defend against stuff somehow. Maybe that's also wrong. Maybe I have to go this way. Uh, looks scary. Sure. What do we do? Um. I mean, maybe that's a, no, that's a dumb move. We, we bring up the gold. Sorry. Um. Sorry, I meant to try this. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that that's even faster than the thing I was thinking about. That makes sense. Well, uh, Shogi's hard. Yeah. There's no super obvious solution to defeat that attack. Um, where's this one I managed to run away? Yeah, I don't think the pawn drop did go to any favors here. Usually the pawn drop would be awesome. Yeah, something like this. So I've got two bishops in hand, but no obvious mode of attack. Um, hmm. Yeah, wow, that's painful. Jeez. How do we deal with this? Yeah. Well, that was awesome. Uh, it's entirely fine to have to come and go. Not all of us can manage our schedules every day of the week, and I definitely appreciate uh, Lily taking opportunity to play this game. Uh, yeah, no, this this bishop takes rook is like with the pawn drop there is far far stronger than I imagined. So if I realize just what a powerful move this was, uh, yeah, attacking for my castle is basically refuted on account of this bishop and pawn drop. With the rook bearing all this pressure here, like I'm attacking from the castle. In general, it's a bad idea. 
here it's also a bad idea. Um, so yeah, against something like this, I have to try to defend, and it's just going to be painful. But if I don't try to defend, it's going to be even worse. Um, so why? How did I get in this situation? Yeah, as Sully pointed out. Like, I have to run the king somewhere so I can drop a pawn here and restore my position before trying to attack again. Uh, instead, we got this crazy, complicated endgame um, where I got a bit greedy again and again. Played this interesting knight move. Um, yeah, this lance drop looked scary. I... There's probably a more effective move somewhere, these last few moves here, but uh, here I take the knight because I see that this attack is starting to break through. Um, and I think she conducted this attack correctly. It's just at one particular moment here, the silver drop was too much. Uh, obviously pawn drop does nothing, or pawn drop in front, I just promote the bishop, so the knight drop is forced. Um, and yeah, her comment was that she thought she needed, um, this knight to be able to do the checkmate. Maybe she's right. Maybe so. Uh, but also, like, uh, this seems to be necessary here. So I can't do the same checkmate that happened in the game. Um, so it's a bit difficult for me to find the next plan of attack here. Like, I want to pile up on the knight, but I recognize every time I add a general, she adds a general. And I guess if we add enough generals around here, and if I don't lose my bishop to some rook fork, maybe I've got something. It doesn't look easy. So, like, yeah, I guess this is necessary to both the knight and the square behind. At this point, she has to checkmate me. Um, and I guess we leave this as an exercise for the engines. But just, this is the way the game actually concluded. So I finally found a Suma. It was a really wild game overall. Hope we all enjoyed this. Uh, yeah. This is a uh, Shogi teaching ladder, so... It is that uh, we play the game and then make the best attempt we can to review it afterward. Understanding that, like, there's a lot that engines will get that we can't. And our time for review is limited, so it's entirely fine if folks have to come and go during review. But, yeah. Um, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.